Hello guys, welcome to today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Today we're doing a tutorial on how to install Map Editor on Grand Theft Auto 5 single player. Now a lot of people like to mod Grand Theft Auto 5 and so today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to install the easiest mod on Grand Theft Auto 5 single player. Now what you have to do, open up a browser and type in on gta5mods.com Map Editor and it will bring you to this page here which is the first option that you get. As you can see with this map editor you can spawn in and delete a load of stuff including create your own kind of Grand Theft Auto 5 map it is super cool. Now a lot of the problems people have been having with this map is it's not been able to open they can't get the menus up they can't do nothing it won't load so today I'm going to show you how you fix that. So all you have to do is click on the download button right here I'll then redirect you to another page where it says your download will begin shortly as you can see I have downloaded it right there right another requirement of map editor is script hook 5 now all you want to do is on the GTA 5 mods website once again type in script hook 5 and it'll bring you to this page which includes native trainer which is not needed for map editor but you can download it if you want to it all comes in one package so what you're going to do is also click on the download button on that, it brings you to this separate page and all you want to do then is go all the way down and for here you'll see this chart and you can see download and on the right hand side of that you see a download link, click on that and it will then download as you can see, download that as well. Now the final thing you need to do is download scripthook5.net. So what you want to do is once again type that into gta5mods.com it bring you to this page community script 5.net version 2.5.1 so once again like before click on that download button and it will take you to this page now you want to download the latest version of script 5.net and so it will be the first option you get under download script 5.net.zip download that and as you can see I now have all three files that I need to put into my GTA 5 directory so I can get map editor to open up in single player so what you want to do if you wish like I have you can make a folder so you can keep all your mods nice and in nice and safe in one place so what you want to do then is go into your GTA 5 directory now if you've got GTA 5 on Steam like I have what you want to do is open up Steam go on to library find Grand Theft Auto 5 and right click go on to properties local files and browse local files that will bring you to your GTA 5 directory which is where the exe is located so all you want to do then is first of all make a new folder called scripts so go on to right click in your directory go on to new folder and then all in lowercase type in scripts as you can see I have already got a folder that I have made called scripts so I don't need to make a new one but you will need to if you haven't already right what you want to do then is start your process of copy and pasting the mods that you downloaded into your GTA 5 directory so let's start with the first thing we don't let's start with the first thing we downloaded which was script took 5 which will be this one right here or wherever you downloaded it to double click on that and as long as you've got WinRAR I'll put a link in the description where you can download WinRAR yeah. I'll put a link in the description where you can download WinRAR which you will need or you can also use 4-zip so what you want to do is open up the script 5 download folder that you got off the GTA 5 mods website and then double click on the bin folder as you can see right here and then you want to copy and paste or drag over whichever you prefer the script took 5 DIL and the DIN put 8 DIL so just double click on them two and then drag them over into your GTA 5 directory as you can see it's telling me to replace them because I've already got them but don't worry they are the exact same files as I have downloaded all you want to do if you wish you can replace them and just for the sake of the video I will do that Right, what you want to do then is go to scripthook5.net, open up scripthook5.net and, 
and then once again it's just a case of copy and pasting or dragging over the files that are necessary. The files that you need are the last two in the folder which is scripthook5.net.dll and scripthook5.net.asi and all you want to do just like with the scripthook5 is just drag them over into your GTA directory once again it's asking me to replace them because I have got them already just for the sake of the video I will replace them but they are the exact same files. Now the final step is the map editor itself so once you've downloaded that once again go into WinRAR and double click on map editor that will bring you to this and now this is the important part remember that folder you made the scripts folder double click into that and yours will be completely empty so what you want to do is go into the map editor folder that you downloaded off the website and just copy all of them into that scripts folder once again it's asking me to replace them because I've already got but they are all the same ones okay so once you've done all them three steps what you want to do you can close down all the folders that you have open and then you want to launch Grand Theft Auto 5 Right, once you come to this loading screen, all you want to do is click on story mode. Now remember, if you go into online, none of the mods will work. It only works in story mode. So just click on story mode and load into that. So once you've opened up Grand Theft Auto 5, all you have to do then is press F7. As you can see, it will open the map editor. Make sure you have enabled the switching of characters to a different key because that's what F7 is originally assigned to and then once you've got map editor open you can then load maps that you've downloaded off the website and you can create your own map you can spawn props and delete props it is absolutely awesome so there you go guys that's how you get map editor to work for Grand Theft Auto 5 single player if you want to see any more GTA 5 tutorials then let me know and if you want to and if you have any problems just tell me below and I'll try and help you out. Thanks for watching.